Welcome to a Desmond Soldiers video. We're at Quarrel Wood and the Glen Liberty Estate, Alan Reed Car Park this week. Enjoy the video. It's a little bit windy. Welcome to Desmond's Donders. Let's head off on a Donder. Tonight's overnight stop. Tonight I'm on my own. Lindsay is working night shift. I'll be picking her up when she finishes at six o'clock in the morning. Yeah, you heard that right. And then we'll be going off probably to Allen Reed. At least that's our intended target. We'll see where we end up. But meanwhile, I'm gonna spin you around and we'll have a look at the view in the other direction. Well, apart from the fact it's got me in it, we're looking out over the Firth the sun probably got an hour or two to go before it goes down. Coming into view at the edge of this cloud or inside the edge of the cloud will be Burghead. That's uh, over there where the masts are. And uh, the hills and the far side. As I disappear out of view, I'm going to shut me down and we'll zoom in and have a look closer. We'll swing back along the horizon with a little bit of zoom on. There's the masts at Berghead. And camera's having a little difficulty focusing. Far side of the Firth and around. Quarrel Wood, just outside Elgin. Magnificent views. And we'll just take a walk back and have a look at some of what it has to offer. We have been here before and walked this trail. We won't be on it this time because it's just an overnight stop. But I will take you and remind you of some of the things we saw last time. And that's the standing stones, like this one, which are a recent addition and feature local art. Here are the stones. Last time we were here, the view wasn't particularly good due to the light and one of them being damaged. They've been fixed up and the light is such that we can see each image. And they stand just off the car park, easy access. For all to see. And just beside them, the start of one of the woodland trails. Let's have a look round at some of this woodland.
Barn Reed is a ruined farmsteading situated near the banks of the River Libbet. It is depicted on maps as two unroofed buildings with an adjoining enclosure. It is the remains of a small farmstead, enclosure and longhouse, situated on a southwest facing slope. There is a parking area at Allen Reed at the end of a minor road from near Tomnavulin, which marks the start of a number of trails on the Glenlivet estate, in particular the Libet Path. Lying between the Ladder Hills and the Holt Cromdale Hills in the Cairngorms National Park, the two broad straths of the rivers Avon and Limit, Livet, form the 23,000 hectare Glenlivet estate, part of the Crown Estate of Scotland. Nowhere in Glenlivet is lower than 200 metres. The area is remote and relatively isolated, but the soil is fertile and the slopes of the hills are gentle, so people have lived here and worked the land since prehistoric times. The estate encourages tourism and recreational use of the land. Behind the park up at Allen Reed is the River Livet. There's a footpath along there, takes you to the bridge and along the Libet footpath. But right here is the river. Not the best of weather, been a bit mixed, a few showers. And so far, a little bit too windy to fly. Looking further down the valley, following the course of the river, and coming back, zooming out. This is the river that flows down past the Packhorse Bridge and Drummond Castle, all part at the Glen Liberty Estate.
a small tributary stream going into the Levitt, which is just off there by those bushes. And there's the park up. Lovely little spot. Well away from most tourists in this area. But let's get airborne and have a look around the area surrounding the park up and up and down the river valley.
wildlife. A brown hare, white-tailed bumblebee, small white butterfly, ringlet, speckled wood, green-veined white butterfly, hoverfly, large heath, small tortoiseshell, red admin. Birds, wood pigeon, carrion crow, pheasant, partridge, blackbird, jay, herring gull, starling, swallow, oyster catcher, rook, mallard, chaffinch, black-headed gull, bullfinch, robin, goldcrest, willow warbler, wren, yellow hammer, magpie, grey wagtail, buzzard, swift, common gull, house martin, siskin, pied wagtail. we've seen plenty of the sun and while we didn't quite fly to the moon the moon did come to us watching Desmond Stoppers. We'll hope you'll join us again for more photos, waffle and video as we travel around Scotland. Bye for now.